an incredible race, David Gravel. You're the first New Englander, is that correct, to win here in front of your family, your hometown crowd. I ran into your sisters. How does it feel here tonight? Uh, it's awesome. You know, this track's only an hour and a half away from me, and uh, we had a little luck our way, and uh, I took advantage, and, uh, you know, this is just great. You had a good restart and you got the lead. And I was watching you out there. Carrie actually gained on you a little bit. You were kind of cheating the cushion and it looked like you were letting the momentum of the corner carry you around the racetrack. Yeah, three and four is really hectic here. I know a lot of people have crashed here, uh, counting me. So I was just trying to kind of protect. Uh, I know the line I was running it would be hard for Carrie to pass me. So I was playing a little bit of defense there and uh, it worked out. I'm glad it was only a 25 lap race. The lap cars had got uh, real interesting, but uh, we made it. I got to thank Dennis Teresa Roth for giving me this opportunity. Uh, fourth win of the season is awesome. I think it matches like my career total just this year. Uh, and Troy, you know, the new crew chief, we're, we're learning every day. And, you know, it takes a while to gel really well. And Scotty and Brandon, they all do an awesome job. So I just got to thank all those guys. And, uh, you know, we won at the closest track I live to. David, we saw a red flag and we saw you fall back to third. You were fortunate enough to get your starting back with the lead in a single file restart. What happened on that start that you fell back to third? Yeah, obviously I got lucky, but uh, Kerry kind of jumped me, but then I got on the gas and it stumbled real bad. I didn't take off very good. So unfortunately, we got a wreck and a single file restart and made my life a lot easier. And, uh, you know, things just fell my way and... You know, I, I got to take advantage of it. With a little luck and a lot of skill, tonight's winner in the Roth Motorsports number 83 is David Gravel. <laughs> Carrie, you got the initial jump and led, led a lot of laps here on one of the restarts. David got the best of you. You would gain on him in, on the cushion. He was cheating a little bit, and you were running more on the top. How was the racetrack tonight? Oh, the racetrack was excellent. I quite enjoyed it. I wish it was longer race, but... Um, yeah, look, I had the lead and I had the decision to choose top or bottom and I won the first start quite convincingly on the top, so I thought I'd stick with the top and uh, got caught out. So, you know, that's just part of the game and uh, no complaints, but that uh, is what it is. And then we actually got the, uh, the second one, we actually got, made it work and got the, uh, got the jump, but uh, yeah, unfortunately red come out, so um, yeah, look, we tucked up behind him quite a bit there in green flag runs, but it was going to be always be difficult to do something. So second's a great result for us, and obviously congrats to David and the whole Roth team. And um, uh, we're back on the podium again, so it's, uh, it's a good position to be. There wasn't a lot of passing up front. We saw some passing towards the back. Do you think if you could have caught up to David, you could have tried the bottom and made a pass, or was it too hard tonight? You know, ironically, there, uh, when he jumped the cushion off a two, um, that had started happening a little earlier, I could have maybe nosed up and attempted something somewhere, but it would have been a, a Hail Mary and uh, just get to get a good finish. Well, congratulations to Kerry Madsen and his American Racing team on tonight's second place finish. Donnie, another third place finish this weekend. The top two guys were running the top, and I saw you stay consistently in the middle, which is something you do at a lot of racetracks. Did you think about toying with the top tonight? Uh, I tried it. I uh, just didn't have no speed up there, so we had to move off it. Um, you know, some nights you're uh, good there, some nights you're not. It, uh, I tried it a lap and couldn't seem to make enough speed. It felt like I lost a little ground, so um, got back down there and felt where the car felt best. On a track this size, you want to keep your momentum up. Did you think you were at a disadvantage then having to run the middle? Um, no, we, we probably, we heard a motor I think on lap five, uh, the temperature gauge was pegged and uh, on the yellows it didn't seem to go down, so um, that's a common sign of a water pump failure. Um, you know, it had, obviously had water in it because it was very hot and um, it started to uh, not really slow down at the end, but you could feel that it was uh, definitely laboring a lot harder, so um, I don't know, we, we seem to slow down a little bit there at the end, I don't know if that's what it was or not, but uh, you know, that's a tribute to a great engine builder. Um, we don't have many failures, but um, you know, it, it held together for uh, 20 laps after that. So um, you know, it's uh, hard to get him to do that, and it did its job. As a driver, when you feel something like that, you know, motors are pretty expensive. Do you ever contemplate pulling in, or do you just push it till the end? Well, we're here to win, and uh, you never know what's going to happen. You know, um, we got stacked up on that restart, and um, heck, anything could have happened there. It could have been watered up like Steve Kinzer. So it's, uh, you know, you're glad you don't end up in them situations. And, um, you know, we, we come out of it with a decent finish. So uh, we'll go on to uh, Wednesday night, try to win a race. Well, that shaver motor held up for STP number 15 for third place, Donnie Schatz.